Sunset used to mean bedtime for 10-year-old villager Ankash Govind. Not since last August, when subsistence farmers in Chikanpada, just three hours north of Mumbai, India, flipped the switch on hundreds of solar lamps. The 71 families here made the switch from expensive and smoky kerosene to solar power, which is much greener and cheaper. This villager says kerosene blackened her walls and gave her chronic cough. An estimated one million families use kerosene for lighting in India. In developing countries, kerosene fumes are responsible for 64 percent of deaths for children under the age of five. But it takes more than political will or corporate social responsibility to address this social concern in a sustainable way. Greenlight Planet strategy? Profitable philanthropy. Our product, the Sun King Solar Lantern, is one of the first few uh, solar energy devices that is actually cheaper than the non-renewable energy counterpart. The startup company sold the solar lanterns at the subsidized cost of four dollars each, about 16 percent of each villager's monthly income. It normally goes for fifteen dollars, one of the cheapest models around since it's one of the smallest. Its LED technology is highly efficient in storing energy, despite its pint size. Families that go solar save about a dollar a month by cutting kerosene costs. India, which subsidizes kerosene at an annual loss, is faring even better. It saves up to 50 cents for every unsold liter of kerosene. That means $30 a year in government savings for every family that's made the switch. Villagers in Chikanpada install their new solar panels. At eye level are electricity poles, out of order for the past eight years. The power was first cut here after one villager refused to pay. Other villagers followed suit, considering it unfair to let one family freeload. The company quickly shut off their electricity. We went to the main electricity office, but they said that they are already giving us electricity. But the new generation needs electricity, and it's not here. This village is no outlier. Several neighboring ones make the same claim. Manmohan Singh's administration has pledged power for all by 2012. In the meantime, Greenlight Planet hopes to be the bridge that prevents villages like Chikanpada from getting lost in the dark. For The Wall Street Journal, I'm Linda Blake in Chikanpada, India.